polo is a sport that has a long association with the aristocracy of India and England, and it has an enthusiastic following among well-heeled members of society across the globe, including South Africa. A group of women with a passion for promoting breast cancer awareness spotted the opportunity that polo presented for fundraising, and the Pink Polo South Africa event was launched in 2010. It's become an annual fixture on the calendar, and Mela attended this year's polo with a purpose. It's a spectacular day here in the Cape Winelands as people from all walks of life come together to celebrate a decade of polo with a purpose. The much anticipated Pink Polo returns to the majestic Valdivia estate and I cannot wait to soak up the sun, fun and fashion. Rake, welcome to Mela. No, thank you very much. It's always nice to be on the show. A decade of polo with a purpose. Did you ever imagine that you'd be celebrating this milestone? It's remarkable that we made 10 years. It's the longest running uh, you know, polo event in South Africa. But the cause and the reason why we do it, you know, hasn't changed. Of course, 2019 also marks 150 years of polo as a modern sport. It's known as the sport of kings. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. What a beautiful day in the Cape Winelands and what a special moment. Thank you for being part of that. Rolene, welcome to Mela and it's so great to be chatting with you. Thank you very much. Lovely to see you. I believe congratulations are in order. Thank you very much. We're very excited. Today serves a dual purpose that it raises funds for charities, but it also creates awareness around breast cancer. How are you achieving this? Everyone always thinks that it won't happen to me. And just by putting that out there, sharing stories of survivals, it just plants that seed in your head to make sure that you do your self-examination, that you go for your examinations at your doctor and that breast cancer is detected as early as possible. Dr. Judy, a very warm welcome to Mela. Thank you, thank you very much. Why did you choose to get involved with Pink Polo? We decided to get involved purely because, yes, it's the 10th anniversary of Pink Polo. Secondly, I have a family member who's also undergoing breast cancer and we journey with her so much, I understand it fully. And then thirdly, we also get to work with breast cancer patients on a day-to-day -day basis. So for us, it was just a perfect fit to present Pink Polo this year. Hamilton, it's always great to welcome you back to Mela. Thank you so much, man. What is it about the pink polo that brings you back every year? It stands for a purpose. So there's a reasoning, it's supporting, it's standing for a certain cause. So hence for me, I keep coming because I'm showing my support to people who are, uh, who are living with cancer. This year's theme is authentic polo. How did you interpret it? I am dressed by Mtoko Masondo, it's DM Bespoke. I'm actually dressed by him from the shoe to everything I'm dressed by him. We are always pleasantly surprised by the pink polo. People always come out in their finest. It's so great attending any event that has a purpose. I mean, I think we can all go out, we can all dress up, we can all look pretty. But when you know it's for a great cause and it's bringing awareness to something that we should all know about, it's even better. What do you most enjoy about the polo? It's fabulous. It's a great space for us to network. You know, I think everyone just looks so beautiful. Right? But also they're supporting an amazing cause. So it just makes it that much better. Yeah. The picturesque Winelands has served as the ideal backdrop for a memorable day filled with all things pink and polo inspired. It's been a spectacular day as we've celebrated a decade of polo with a purpose. Yeah. 